This is a quick movie just showing you how to do a stream movie or a stream acquisition inside uh, multi, uh, multi-dimensional acquire in Metamorph. So streaming is the ability to go as quickly as the hardware or the camera will allow you to do. So if I click streaming we'll see we got a new stream tab. So let's go there quickly and see that we have an exposure time which is our rate limiting step. Uh, that we can see it's okay and we can pick that we can stream so take all this information to either RAM or to the hard disk. So I'll just stick with RAM for the moment, but effectively we haven't chosen a parameter stream. So let's stream time lapse. Okay, so now I can go to time lapse. Now what's interesting here, I actually have to go to stream first and say stream time. So I have a 20 millisecond exposure time at the moment. Let's just go live. That's nice. I'll work with 20 milliseconds. Um, now when I go to time lapse, you can see I don't have a time interval. My time interval in a streaming mode is determined by my exposure time. So later on we can talk about streaming in wavelengths and I can stream very very quickly between wavelengths to go as quickly as I possibly can but the exposure time has to be identical for each wavelength. So anyway, at the moment we are using an exposure time of 20 milliseconds on a camera which has 10 frames a second. So if I said I wanted to do 30 images that's going to take me three seconds to stream and that's going to go as quickly as it can to RAM or to hard disk for 30 seconds and my my, my time here is 20 milliseconds that can be anywhere up to uh, about 99 milliseconds effectively you have transfer time involved as well but realistically we're going to stream at the rate of the camera's fastest speed in this bin state which is 10 frames a second so to make this work I would just press acquire and what we can see is Actually, it's starting to do the acquire, and it says time point one of 30, and then it's just taken it and it's read that data into acquire. So later on, we can talk about opening those up. But that effectively, that movie was three seconds worth of data acquisition, and then it saved that data out. Now, that means you're as fast as you possibly can in a movie rather than setting an inter frame or inter you know, event time. If we enable wavelength, what we'll find under stream now is we have stream multiple wavelengths as well. So this may be that you're going as quickly as you possibly can, maybe you're doing a ratio experiment, something like that. If we now go to wavelength, we see that we no longer have an exposure time available. And that's what I mentioned earlier. The, the, the speed acquisition has taken the fact that we've switched the camera into a mode where we're using the exposure time of the camera to set our rate of speed. So exposure time is set within streaming. So in theory here, if I put in 200 milliseconds, our time interval would be doing uh, uh, an image every 200 milliseconds. So we'd get two every 800 milliseconds, two pairs every 800 milliseconds in a calcium experiment. Again, all of this data is simply acquired and put into, into the hard disk and we can retrieve it later on. Okay, streaming is pretty good to RAM. That's very nice, very flexible. If we go to hard disk, um, that again is true because we're now taking up acting as if we're a video recorder so um, it actually takes uh, a little bit more memory to do that but a decent computer nowadays on a Windows uh, 32 or 64 bit will be able to handle that for a large period of times so we have a digital video recorder now the stream is particularly handy as well for multi channels through Z so for example if I was doing a Z stack of green a Z stack of red uh, one after the other as quickly as possible and then followed by uh, the next interval through time. So I can actually disable time now and put a time interval. So this would be a uh, one minute interval. So let's make that say 30 seconds. So now under display or summary, we can see that my experiment is designed to stream through red as quickly as possible through a Z section, green through the Z section, then it's going to wait and then it's going to do the same again twice. So that's a very neat experiment, particularly if you've got things moving very quickly over time. Um, to make that work as quickly as possible, it's best to use that with a PIFOC stage or with a stage insert uh, from Mad City Labs, the ones that are inside ASI, Prior, and Loodle stages. Okay. If you need any more help or are instructions with this at all, please let me know or contact Pedometrics UK or your local Metamorph dealer. Thank you.